Hey YouTube, Opinionative Review here, bringing you guys a recap, yes, a recap on My Great Fest. If you don't know what My Great Fest is, it's the world's first jailbreak convention, and it happened today. It was about from about 9.30 to about 12.30 or something like that, probably a little bit, probably finished a little bit earlier, but that's roughly the time. And... As I said, it's the world's first jailbreak convention, and I'm just gonna go over a couple of the key things that really that happened or that the speakers spoke on. It was about five speakers, it was just about five of them, which include Aaron Ash, that's the guy who made Barrel and Multiflow, I think that's what it is. Poisex Ninja, that's the guy for Green Poison, and he actually touched on something extremely important or you guys will be interested in and that's the jailbreak for the iphone 5 so stay tuned for that the idroid project that's basically uh some guys on a project trying to put android on the iphone and they actually has got it done for the lower iphones like the i devices sorry like the iphone the iphone 1 or ipod touch 1 gen the first first gen and they say they're working on the newer gens there was some guy called Jay Welter, and I'm not too sure who he is. iFile for iPhone, you guys should know who that is, the guy that created iFile. And Sorik was the last speaker, yeah, so it was about six of them. And it was pretty nice for a first-time event. It was pretty cool for a first-time event. I'm really looking forward to when they do it in the U.S. This one was situated in London. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. Basically, what most most of them were doing were, were talking about how they got into iOS and how they got started jailbroken the devices and what made them start to code and so et cetera, et cetera. That's what most of them talked about. They also talked about the tweaks that they made or the tweaks that they have out or even the tweaks that they're working on. Aaron Ash actually put up his powerpoint presentation for download so if you if you're interested in downloading his presentation and see seeing what it's about you can see it right here i'm gonna have the link in the description for you guys to check that out so yeah this is his presentation right here it's basically telling you uh it's basically like a breakdown of how to start what you need to do and stuff like that and it also has a couple things like what he worked on what what he is working on or what he worked on but he didn't finish because of the implementation and stuff like that so yeah that's that's basically what he did he just talked about how he got into it the stuff that he worked on and etc etc let's move on to poise x ninja this was actually one of the biggest announcement for the, the convention and poise x ninja he started out talking about the dev team how did they come about how long they've been around etc etc all that history and then he mentioned iPhone 5 jailbreak, which was extremely interesting. Uh, he basically said that they already have a jailbreak out for the iPhone. They already have a jailbreak in works. I'm not going to say it's out because the iPhone 5 isn't out. So you can see it's probably 95 or 99.5 percent done. All they need is the device, and it has five user land exploits. Now, five user user land exploit is insane for one jailbreak. So if Apple patches all five of those in an update, you're gonna have to go and look for another five for another jailbreak. So that that's 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 insane for one jailbreak. So let's see when the iPhone 5 actually comes out if they can jailbreak it like off the back just like that. That would be cool. As soon as it comes out, boom, a video is up. iPhone 5 jailbroken, untethered. That would be awesome. He also touched on uh, uh, a dev camp or a dev university or something like that that they want to work on or they're interested in. I'm not too sure. Hey, I, I was I was uh, kind of sleepy. It's 1 o'clock now. I've been up. I haven't sleep. So if I miss some of the information or I, I, got, uh, uh, or I get some of it incorrect, please forgive me. I, I'm, I'm sleepy. <laughs> so, yeah, the iPhone 5 was actually the biggest news. So let's move on to iDroid project and those guys actually did a demonstration of the iDroid project that they have and they, they show that they have it running on an iPod Touch 1 gen and the iPod Touch 4 gen. If you want to see a, a little recording of that, I did a recording of that. It's gonna, the link is going to be in the description. You can 
check out the recording there's no audio unfortunately but if you want to just scrub through the video and see exactly where they had it running and the, in the interesting thing is they had something called boot lace and that allowed you to boot between Android and the iOS so you can be you it's like a dual boot so you can go you can select whether you want to do boot boot Apple or iOS and if you want to boot Android so that was pretty cool now I file for iPhone was the guy that spoke after and he basically talked about uh, how he got into it as I said that's what most of them did he talked about how he got into it he touched a little bit on the stats of the uh, i file and stuff talking about I think he said it had about 10 to 11 million downloads and that's between all of the versions like every single version had about 10 to 11 million and when I say every version I mean combined I don't mean individually so combined and the, he said the latest version has about 700 K downloads and the one that had the most downloads was I can't remember which version he said but it has about 2.5 million downloads so yeah I file is extremely useful if you don't know about it you should definitely check it out and there's not much to say about him it's just he was just talking about how he got into it he didn't have no secret project in the works or anything like that so yes the next guy was Jay Welton I hope I said that right and he was basically the guy that first the jailbroke or the iPod Nano 5th gen or something like that so yeah that was his specialty he was talking about the iPod Nano 5th gen how he got into it etc etc he didn't really uh, touch on anything specific or didn't really have any projects in the work or anything like that he was just telling you about how he got into it what he did uh, from here today from A to B C to D etc etc so most of the guys that's what they were talking about they started off telling you how they got into it and then they will tell you if they had any projects going on right now if they had any that they want to check that they did not finish etc etc now the last speaker was Surik and Surik was on the stage for about an hour and 40 minutes man the guy can talk the guy can talk I'm talking about hour and 40 minutes of just straight talking but don't get me wrong he he had some good information it was interesting information but listen listening to it at uh 11 o'clock in the morning when you ain't get no sleep you, you tend to doze off I dozed off about two or three times and then I, I woke up like is it over yet and no it was not over so yes he but he talked about uh, Cydia a lot of people uh, he when he started out with just questions he nobody was asking questions he just gathered his own set of questions and he had them up on the, the projector and he just switched between them and then answered them and then after he took questions as most of them did but he touched on some key points like Cydia. Some some people ask like why doesn't Cydia has multitasking? And he went into in depth as to why it didn't have multitask. It was some interesting information and I hope that somebody actually like recorded it and then it, it can get on the internet. If it does, I'll keep you guys posted so you guys can either watch it or just scrub through it and see and listen to the parts that you want to listen to. But Surik did touch on some interesting information. He talked, he talked about piracy and Cydia. He talked about how he wants to improve it, how he needs to improve it, whether it has a website. I mean, a whole lot of stuff. I told you, the guy can talk but it was interesting information and if you're if you're into the jailbreaking as in-depth as I am it would have been some key information for you to learn or even some knowledge for you to grasp you know what I mean so that was basically it there wasn't nothing really to the biggest information was on Poisex Ninja and the iPhone 5 jailbreak every every other dev or every other thing they were just talking about how they got into it and what they have on the side like Aaron Ash was the guy that had most of the stuff on the side he actually have a couple tweaks in his repo and I'll have that in the description if you want to check it out like this icon stack and this one here um icon spiral and stuff like that but beware these tweaks are extremely buggy it says so so if you're trying them out you're trying them out at your own risk i have the link in the description for his presentation if you want to download it he let everyone download it and i also have the link in the description to the the video of the idroid project and if i find a live um, uh, recording of the video 
I'll put that in the description as well. So yeah, guys, that was basically it. It was an interesting for the first time thing, and I definitely liked it. Once again, I, I'm sleepy. I'm going to bed after I finish edit this. I hope I don't fall asleep editing it. So if I trip up on anything, or I forgot something, or I miss spell something, or whatever, just give me a break. I'm sleepy. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's basically it. I'm just giving you guys a recap of the world's first jailbreak convention. I can't wait till it come to the U.S. Hopefully, I'm still here and I haven't finished school and gone back to the British Virgin Islands. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.